Hey, Coma hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chevy, Uy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring this. So I'm at Joanne's. I'm gonna make the plaster canvases that you see on TikTok all the time. So I got three canvases and I got the plaster. I'm excited. Oh, and the canvases are 50% off, so they're both $8 and the plaster is only $6. This is the cart, full of things. Okay, so to get started, I use a five gallon bucket. I got a lot of these things from Home Depot and like you're gonna need some scrapers. So make sure you have that and then um, a cloth if you wanna do the cloth canvas. So I start out just unwrapping the canvases just to get them ready they were kind of smaller than i thought when i got home and put them on the wall but you know they worked out anyways as you saw in the beginning i wanted to see what it looked like above the couch um, one thing i learned with placing canvases is to get it level with like the top of the door hinge if that makes sense if it's any higher it just looks weird so I opened up the plaster. I did not think it was gonna be powder, but you know, here we are. I did not read any directions, like I never do. And I thought using a cup would just work for this. I don't know why I just didn't pour it in. I was gonna need all of it anyways, but you know, this is the process that it took for me to learn how to do this. Now, mind you, I did see this idea off of TikTok. So I did watch a couple TikTok videos. A lot of girlies were using that purple plaster that dried white. I don't know what that's called, but I'm sure you can find it at some home DIY place. So as you saw, I started adding water and boy, this stuff dries fast. Like you have to work fast and I immediately recognize that. Something also important to note is you need a mixing stick. I did not have one. I used one of the plaster spreader things. I used to work at Sharon Williams, so if you go there and ask for one, they have smaller ones and big ones, they'll give them to you for free. I ended up using one full container for the first two canvases that me and Gil work on. So, you know, just do whatever your heart desires, have fun with it. This is a cute date idea. Me and Gil had so much fun. Whenever people come to our house, they're always like, oh, these canvases are so cool. Like, did y'all make these? We are like, of course we made these. It was so easy. So that's why I wanted to make this video. So enjoy us kind of making art. This is definitely a core memory of mine. Oh, and we didn't just raw dog the carpet. We did end up putting some towels down. They weren't really needed. It wasn't as messy as I thought it was gonna be. Why did he smell it? But, you know, it was important to make sure we save our apartment while we're doing DIY projects like this. I'm going to leave everything I used, everything you're gonna need that I didn't use, all in the description below so if you plan on doing this project please check that out so it can help you out but i'm gonna stop talking and i hope you guys enjoy our creation
this canvas I was so excited for. These kindergarten scissors were the only scissors I could find. I wanted to cut the cloth so that it would be a little bit bigger than the canvas so that it could be scrunched up and molded. Like I said before, this stuff dries fast, so I had to get all the crustuses out and put it in the trash so I could put a whole new batch of plaster inside the mixing bowl. So I had to get more water, you know, mix, mix, mix. So I don't know why I thought getting a goop of it and putting it on the cloth was going to work. Um, so I just decided just to stick the whole thing inside the bucket. And this worked out really well. Um, I think I should have added a little bit more water to the plaster if I was going to do this. But this was literally a last minute thought. But it really ended up working out. Just making sure the cloth was saturated was my main goal. So that I could move it around and make it look how I wanted. So... Enjoy! gloves might be a good idea for this project because I had plaster in my nails for a couple days after this and I don't know my hands felt disgusting but all in the end I am so thankful with how it turned out I think it looks so cool it was such a cool idea to do this and I love it my baby We let the canvases stay outside for a day just to dry and this kind of helped them set into place. Um, when we did pick it up the next day, pieces did fall off, but I think those are just the ones that weren't secure. I think some people mixed their plaster with paint, but we didn't. <coughs> and honestly, it ended up working out because when we set it on the wall, like we didn't have any fallout or anything. Like It just all worked out really well and they look really good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final look of everything. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. Uh, let me know which canvas is your favorite. Um, and try to guess which one's Gil's and which one is mine. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you so much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next upload. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!